the apron, for example, is really high poly compared to the to the character, which really doesn't really make too much sense. Like it should technically be the opposite. Hello, welcome to How Do I UV That, where I show how do UV map subscribers models that you have sent for me to UV map. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For today's episode, I got. Uh, this model here, which looks pretty cool. I really like the the scene, the storytelling that's going on here. It's gonna eat one of those M&Ms. Oh wow, what is this? Well, that's cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started in UV it. Um, let's see. Uh, I know, as I always say, this is about UVs, but the one thing I will say is I'm gonna try to keep the uh, poly count consistent across everything. So in this case we have the apron for example is really high poly compared to the to the character which really doesn't really make too much sense. Like it should technically be the opposite. This should be lower poly than this. But that's just me nitpicking. Same with this, it's just a little high poly. But anyway, let's focus on the UVs here. So let me open the UV editor. Let's see. There's a lot going on here. Obviously I'm not gonna go through all of it. Um, so maybe we can just kind of do like a review sort of thing here. So UVs for these are, these are good. I think UVs are pretty good. I see no distortion. Um, I mean, I'm not sure. I guess it really depends on how you're going to be using the scene. So personally, I would have kept this as part of the same model here and have them share the same UV space. But again, if it really depends honestly on how you're going to be using your models. But the UVs here are good. I think they're using as much space as they can use, honestly. Let's see, this one. Um, that's really cool because you're using just one UV shell. Let me isolate it. The one thing that I'm noticing is maybe there's a little too much distortion. Um, on the ears, I guess that would be the only comment on this. Let's see. Okay, so you have your UV cuts on the back, which is good if you're mostly planning on seeing the front. Although, I don't know, I mean, you would probably still see the back if you were looking at from the back. But, anyways, um, Let's see, what is this? Something weird here. Oh, that's the interior of the mouth. That will probably fix that part. I'm assuming that's using some kind of... That's a little strange. That yeah, will fix that. That will do a... Uh... In fact, that should be part of the, the whole thing, honestly. Well, let me show you how I would do it. I'm not saying this is wrong. This is... For the most part it's fine, well, except for the interior of the mouth, you will fix that. But for the most part it's good. There are some distortions. There's a little bit of distortion going on in the ears, which you can probably try to fix. But I'll, I'm going to show how I would do it. So I'm going to do a planar map just to get rid of everything that's going on. And... I will probably just cut it in half, to be honest. Just do that, well, let me disable this so I can see what's going on. I will cut it in half, do my UVs this way. Uh, oops. So cut that. And then I would use the unfold tool. Let me delete history, I think there's a lot of history going on. Okay, unfold it. And this is what we get. So now let's look at the distortion. So now, as you can see, now the ears are pretty good as far as distortion. Same with the bottom. And the arms are good. This is how I would do it. Obviously, yes, you are getting a steam that's going all across your character. But I don't think that would be a big deal, to be honest. 
especially since you're doing it. it seems that this would be more of a film uh, scene going on here, because I think there's too much high poly going on for this to be like a game or anything like that. So this would be more like a film model. So having the scene across like that would not be an issue, I don't think. And you can always just, and you can always uh, sew this back up in some areas, maybe here. And try to unfold it. If you want to keep it as one, as one UV shell as you had it before. So that can still work. And you still have the ears that are still good. Um, so this still also works if you wanted to keep it this way. Obviously the interior is good now. You don't have to separate it because um, it's really shallow so it doesn't go in too much. So that's how we do it. And I will probably keep this as one to be honest. I would do a layout. Let's see. Modify layout. So that the eyes are part of the UV space. Same with the teeth. Oh, you haven't done UVs for this, I don't think. So, let's see. I would do UVs like this. I would do a planar map and do pretty much the exact same thing. Just cut it in half. Maybe sew it back up here. Now moving so. And unfold it. So you can keep it as one UV shell. Like this. There's not a lot of distortion going on. Plus these are teeth, so they're probably going to be white. Which I'm assuming that's why you left them as they are. Let me transfer UVs. Uh, let's see, that's under Mesh. Transfer Attributes, Options, Box. Everything's off except for UVs. Apply. We're good here. I'm going to delete history on that. And then I will make sure to keep this as one so that they share the same UV space. Do a layout. Oh, whoops, what happened? Let's see. Okay, that's really strange. Not sure why that happened. Okay. Let's see, there's something else here. What is this? Oh, there's like something around. Oh, it's the eyelid. The eyelid, I would do the same thing. Play the map it. Cut it in half. Oops. Cut it in half and then unfold it. Like this. You don't see the back, so it doesn't matter if there's distortion back there. Transfer the UVs to the other piece. Okay, and now... Let's do this. Now we can do layout. This should work now. There we go. We can probably use more UV space here. But anyway, I will keep those as one. So that's how we do the rabbit, the wabbit, and then everything else. There's also the possibility of keeping these as one as well, but it doesn't have to. And again, I think this is a film uh, model, so that would be just perfectly acceptable. Okay, so... Um, let's see. I think these UVs are okay. I mean, it's really hard to tell because it's really high poly. Um, just a little bit of distortion. I would try on unfold. I'm not going to try it because this is really high poly. It's going to take a while for it to do it. These look okay. Yeah, these look fine. Eyes uh, straightforward. That looks fine as UV. It's good. Let's see. This one, you could potentially cut it here. 
that's that's all right. Same with this. This is a high poly, so usually one UV show works just fine for those. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut it short here, and I think that's how I would do it. I think the majority of these pieces are good. Um, I would uh, lower the poly count, but if if this is a film or just a still that you're doing for a render, I think it's I guess it's fine. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to end it here, and if you want to share your models, I just look at the description below, there's a link to where you can do that. Um, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, make sure you stay tuned, we always have uh, new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so stay tuned. So yeah, until next time. Do you want to learn how to create a scene using Unreal Engine 4? Click the link in the description and I will show you how to make 3D models and put them together in a scene using Unreal Engine 4. It will also learn how to do stylized sliding, plus how to make a stylized smart material in Substance Painter so you can improve your texture workflow. Click on the link in the description to get started today.